This is the story of the pandemic generation. How will we be remembered? Are we the generation that helped end COVID for everyone? Or just ourselves? Rapidly spreading virus has reached Australia. Defining health targets there of our generation. When the pandemic hit Australia, we went inside. But we adjusted. We caught up. We slowed down. And we started to recover. But not everyone is recovering. The pandemic has sent shockwaves through the world's health and economic systems. For the first time in 20 years, extreme poverty is getting worse, with women and children being affected the most. COVID isn't over for any of us until it's over for all of us. Our neighbours are strong. Our neighbours are resilient. But we owe it to them to be by their side, as they have been for us. It's not enough for only Australia to get back to normal. When we look back at this time, will we be proud of how we responded? Will history remember this as a time when wealthy, healthy people in rich nations pushed to the front of the vaccine queue? In times of crisis, Australians step up. We help our neighbours with the true Australian spirit of generosity and compassion. And our neighbours need us now. So here's what we need to do. Scale up our efforts to end the pandemic. Australia has already committed significant resources to vaccinate the Pacific and parts of Southeast Asia. It's a great start, but to ensure vaccine access for the world's poorest, we must increase our commitment to the global effort by $500 million. We need a $1 billion investment to train more doctors and nurses and protect against future pandemics. And we must provide an emergency $150 million famine prevention package to combat starvation in affected countries. These three investments would help end COVID for everyone, not just ourselves. We have the power to write the story of this generation. How do we want it to end?